All right, we're going to go through uh, number five from the 2012 Calc A, B, and B, C exams. Um, and it's a separable differential equation problem with a couple of parts ahead of that. Um, so the first thing we have to do is figure out when this bird is uh, gaining more weight or when the rate of change is greater. Um, so we're told two different weight values, so 40 and 70. And those are B values. So... Sometimes people have trouble with differential equations like this because they don't have the independent variable in them. They only have the dependent variable, but it's not really an issue. You just uh, kind of go about your business as if it didn't make a difference because it kind of doesn't make a difference. Uh, so we plug in 40 for B and simplify and simplify, and we get 12 grams per day. So that's when the weight is 40. And then we're going to do the same thing when the weight is 70. And so we'll substitute and we'll simplify and then we can see that this is 6 alright so we know those two values so what we're going to do now is just write down our answer um, so knowing those it's definitely gaining more weight when it is 40 grams and that's really all we had to do there um, but if you freak out about there being no independent variable you would be doomed on that because you wouldn't know where to go all right, uh, the next question is to first find the second derivative. So we're going to do that. Um, you might find it easiest to distribute the 1 fifth, uh, which would give you 20 minus 1 fifth of b, and then take the derivative, um, but I'm just going to jump in. So the second derivative with respect to t is 1 fifth, and then the derivative of 100 minus b is negative db dt. And then uh, I know db dt is that given thing, so I'm going to replace that. Um, and pull out the negative. So that gives me negative 1 over 25 and then 100 minus b. Now the next question is uh, why can the graph that's been provided not be the graph of b of t? And we have to use the second derivative to explain. Alright, so if you look at um, the second derivative, if b is less than 100, um, oops, forgot my little 2 there, um, then the second derivative is less than zero. Um, and if the second derivative is less than zero, then the graph of b of t needs to be concave down. Um, and if we take a look at this graph, uh, right around there, the graph is definitely concave up. And so since that's the case, cannot be the graph of b of t. And that's really all we need to do, uh, is just look for some kind of inconsistency. Uh, on the AP exam, they either tell you to show something is true, in which case you hope you can do that, or show that it's not true, in which case you look for a contradiction. All right, and then the final part, which you might have been anticipating, was to actually separate and integrate. So we're going to solve this with the initial condition b of 0 is 20. Um, I'm going to do that thing that I do where uh, I'm going to factor out a negative. So negative, and then still 1 fifth, and then I took a negative out of 100 minus b, so that becomes b minus 100. I do that to avoid the uh, u substitution problem on the natural log that we're going to end up with. And uh, it just makes things a little bit easier. So we do that, and we're going to integrate. So on the left-hand side, I get the natural log of the absolute value of b minus 100. And on the right-hand side, I get negative 1 fifth t, and then that's where I put my plus c. Um, what I like to do with the natural log problems is I like to exponentiate before I solve for c. So b minus 100 equals c e to the negative 1 fifth t. And then that coefficient c is what's going to deal with the absolute value issue. So if, if it was meant to be positive, it'll be positive. If it was meant to be negative, it'll be negative, and we don't have to worry. Um, so let's deal with the initial condition. So we have this, and we know that um, b of 0 is 20. And so we plug in, and we get that, and so C is negative 80, and then we write our solution. And that's it. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.